Greetings, you vermin gorgers. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack a Pack here on LRRMTG. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Today, I am opening a pack of Modern Horizons 2, the one with squirrels on. This is a 12 card set booster that was given to us by Morton through the mail in mail time. If you want to send us anything, we have an address to do so. It's appearing on your screen, right? Wait for it. Now. Thanks. Let's get into this. <laughs> Morton very helpfully labeled uh, the the pack with their own name um, and tape, which <laughs> it turns out is making it more difficult than usual to get into it. But I think I've found a point of ingress. There we are. All right. I don't know if I've opened a set booster for this particular set, so I don't know exactly what to expect, but I guess we'll find out together. First up, it's an art card, and do I recognize the art just by looking at it? Sure don't. It looks like some Selesnia nonsense. It is Arcus Acolyte. I still don't know if that's definitely Selesnia, but boy oh boy does it look like Selesnia. Like specifically Ravnica. So, cool. That goes over there. Next, we have the ultimate power of a swamp. Yeah, it's a very nice swamp by... Jerry Tiratilli. Cool swamp. Next, it's also land, but it's not basic this time. It's Tangle Pool Bridge. It's the cycle of bridges. The artifact lands. It's indestructible. Enters tapped. Taps for green or blue. Very exciting. I didn't think they'd do that, but they did. And then it didn't seem to be a big deal after the fact. But at the time, it felt like a big deal. Our next card is so shiny. That's the name of the card. It's not foil or anything. That's just what it's called. Who wrote this set? Two and a blue. It wasn't me. Two and a blue. Enchantment. Aura. Enchant creature. When so shiny enters the battlefield, if you control a token, tap enchanted creature, then scry two. The enchanted creature does not untap during its controller's untap step. Nice. I always like variants of that. It's, uh, you know... People make fun of bears, but this is claustrophobia with set mechanic, right? Not really set mechanic, but, you know, there's always, like, some kind of claustrophobia-ish effect. You know, charmed sleep, mesmerizing dose, that kind of thing. This one's easier to cast. This is not one blue-blue. This is two in a blue. That was nice. Orchard Strider. <gasps> Tree Folk. You're talking my language. It's four green-green for a six-four. When it enters the battlefield, you create two food tokens. So many apples. Just heaving with apples. Also, basic land cycling. You can throw it away and go get a forest instead. Uh, one to green for the basic land cycling. It's a 6-4. Did I say that? It's a craw worm. Is this just a craw worm? That's way better? <laughs> wow. Power creep in my Modern Horizons set. Next, we've got Glimmer Bairn. It's one and a green for a 1-2. Oof. Small oof. Sacrifice a token. Glimmer Baron gets plus two plus two until end of turn. This was one of those annoying ones that if your opponent had a bunch of, you know, for example, food from their Orchard Strider or any kind of token, you were just like, oh, I have to block that. Or I'm dead. <laughs> also, the wonderful art from Nils Ham. It's just this strange, <laughs> this strange creature wearing a moth costume. <laughs> I kind of feel like they asked Nils Ham to draw, you know, like an oof or a some kind of little imp creature. And Nils went, what if a strange child in a moth costume and just no one had the heart to say no? It's great. Ethereum Spinner is next. It's two and a blue for a 2-1 human wizard. And whenever you cast a spell with mana value four or greater, create a 1-1 one, one Thopter token with flying. Thopters from a foundry always lack that personal touch, says the flavor text. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Legion Vanguard. Ooh, we're going to Ixalan for a little bit here. One and a black for a 2-2 Vampire Soldier. And for one mana and sacrifice another creature, Legion Vanguard Explores. Which, if you are unfamiliar with that mechanic from Ixalan, you reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, you put it into your hand. Otherwise, you put a plus one plus one counter on the creature. And then you can either put that card back on top of your library, or you can put it in your graveyard. So, it's a powerful little card selection mechanic. That is neat. Underworld Hermit is next. We're over on Theros now. Four black black for a 3-3 three, three human peasant. And when it enters the battlefield, you create a number of 1-1 one, one green squirrel tokens 
equal to your devotion to black. So this is like the black version of the Hoplite, except the Hoplite was only five mana, but it was a one three and it made soldiers. This is one more mana for two more power and squirrels instead of soldiers. So obviously much better. It makes green squirrels. Why does this, why does this creature make squirrels? I mean, they're in the art. I don't know. I don't know what the flavor reasoning for why something from the underworld of Nyx makes squirrels, but okay, sure. Next. Oh, <laughs> who's named in a set from the early 90s? Turok Cantor. Aggressive, efficient, evasive is he. Turok Cantor. We did a whole video about that. Uh, Turok Dread Cantor is one and a black for a 2-1 human cleric with kicker for black black. Protection from white. Whenever an opponent discards a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on Turok. And when Turok enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, target opponent discards two cards at random. You can just pay an extra tax on top. Like you get, It's a two one for two, or you pay black black and you just get uh, him to Turok with it. And then he gets bigger. Oh, this is, that's sweet. Turok's awesome. Uh, oh, soul snare in the retro card frame. Single white mana for an enchantment, and then that doesn't do anything. But then for white and sacrifice it, exile target creature that is attacking you or a planeswalker you control. So it's like, it's an insurance policy. You're just sort of like, I got this here. I got an open planes. What are you going to do about it? Attack with your less good creature. Oh no. Sure, why not? Next, we have another retro card frame of Nested Shambler. It's a single black mana for a 1-1 zombie, and when it dies, you create X tapped 1-1 green squirrel tokens, where X is nested shambler's power. What is with these black creatures making squirrels? What did I miss? Did I play this set? Did I imagine this set? Who knows? All right, and ooh, flavorful. We have a foil Turox canticle. He's a cantor. What's a cantor do? They do a canticle. This is the canticle. Three and a black for a sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a card from it. That player discards that card, then also discards a card at random. The same hymns Turok sang to praise the Ebon Praetor would later be adapted to glorify Turok himself. We joked about this in the video that I was referencing earlier, but like, they really could have just cut out the middleman and directly worshipped the Ebon Praetor. But no, they had to worship Turok, who worshipped the Ebon Praetor. Evan Prater? Hi, I'm Evan Prater. Welcome to the crack -a pack It's a pleasure. And then we have a clue token. Neat. This pack, at time of recording, is worth $6.74. Uh, most of that being Turok at about $3.60. So, you know, not bad for a set booster, I suppose. I guess you could have gotten something weird on the list. I don't know. I don't know. You also can't draft set boosters because they only got the 12 cards, but... I defy you, and I will pretend that I'm drafting this, and I'll take Turok, because Turok just seems sweet. Maybe I can wheel that Underworld Hermit, because the rest of the table goes, why does this six mana 3-3 three, three make squirrels? I don't understand. Also, why are we drafting set boosters? And then I'll just say, don't blame me, I'm Evan Prater. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, remember that everything we do here is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. But ultimately, we just appreciate that you're here and watching. And, and that means a lot. Until next time, I'm Graham. James is on tech. Matt edits these. Heather gets them online. And you have the most important part by watching it. So thank you all. And we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>